Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. We are headed out to do another hydrofract this morning. Uh, one or two days before the uh, beginning of 2023. So we're going to go frack a well that we drilled for another well driller. And uh, we're going to see see what we can get it to go to today. Uh, we drilled it. Actually, I drilled it. Dad was off work. So I cut it to 545 feet. And the driller kind of stopped me right there. Regardless, we knew we were going to have to frack it. So we're going to go ahead and make the journey about an hour from home. And uh, we're going to push on this thing and see what we can make it make. Here we are here. This seven foot case. Hudson, what I want to do here is uh, we're going to have water coming out right here. So kind of dig right here and build me a little dam, and then kind of get me a little trough going right through here. But when you dig the dirt up, put it on the lower side, okay? And you can just scrape it if you want. We can keep away our ditch, so uh, but we want to be able to control the water. Fun. There's the water right there. Static level? 13 meters. So 13 times 3. Is that 40 feet? 40 foot, static level. Let all that water come out that one side. Okay, cool. So that right there is where the casing meets. Right. No, that's where the casing and the metal. So the PVC, right. the transition coupling, you can see the glue, and then you can see the metal. So we're going to have 7 feet of metal here. And then we will see our transition to the rock really soon. Got some rock drill stuck to it. And there is our rock transition. Okay. Really looks good. Okay, good. Good case of suit. It's a little bit of a lip. Uh, saws all out. Oh cool, we got a nice white section of granite. I'm going to say somewhere around 100 foot we want to do. Oh look at that, you can see. You can see the big vertical fracture right there in the screen. See it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, look how nice, big it is. Nice vertical fracture. Cool. Big old... uh, what, what area is that? Um, you're you're probably at like 85 feet. Okay. We're not ahead. far from the bottom okay. of the casing. Yeah, that's one that'll get you in trouble right there. Yeah. So we want to be really far away from those because yeah. we have yeah. to swell them. another one right there. Yeah, see, we're riding in that crack right, right. there. There's another deformation. Yeah. So we want to get the packer away from areas like this. Yeah, I feel like we need to be down about 100 foot or so. Well, I always like to be 30 to 40 feet minimum past the casing. Right. Where are you at right now? I am at... Hey. You know what we can do? Hey, you're at 30, so you're at 90 feet. You're at 90 feet. Yeah, yep. you can see that big cavity right there. Right. And then the camera, it actually hangs up, so the camera's sitting on it right now. Right. So i got to zoom past it. I'm at 38, so 37 meters. So, uh, nine feet shy of 120, so yeah. 110 foot. Yeah, gigantic cavity, man. This thing is so, so fractured. We thought we were going to make water with it all yeah. the time. Yeah, it should have. Yeah. Should have made bukus. Tell you what, it spools up good though. Yeah.
Okay, well. Time to go down. Okay, so what we're doing now is we are inflating that packer that we put down in the hole. And we are waiting for the pressures to increase. Because it's always loud. Empty. Empty. Come on, man. Goes in my truck in the back seat. All right, it's time to start the uh, first track. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the phone up, and then uh, let you watch the pressure. sure how any of this is going to turn out but um, we got it down in the hole we're fracking it we're pushing water through it uh, we got about a thousand pounds when we started and then uh, during normal run we got around 750 so we did get a drop and the 
have the packer set about 15 feet above where that large blowout was that we saw on camera. So it's kind of iffy to say, are we sending water into that area? But right now we can't push anywhere else because the borehole is so jagged and rough that we can't risk putting the packer in an area that is not a smooth spot of the borehole. Because if it is deformed, missing sections of rock or whatever the case may be, um, that packer can't swell up into that area and seal off. And we have to have it swollen and have it sealed to where we don't get any pressure to go by it. If we did get pressure to go by it, we would notice, we would notice water would be coming out of the top of the borehole right there. So as long as we don't get any water leaking past it coming out of the top, then we know the packer's sealed. Okay, I'm gonna go up and push on it again. I'm gonna give it a try in third gear this time. out our water truck that was 1400 gallons and we put an additional 500 from the black tank on top of the hydrofract so now what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, back feed all yeah, the pressure okay Right now, there's still 400 PSI trapped down inside the well. So I had to open up this valve, which allows us to bypass, and it follows that black hose down, and it in turn fills up that big black tank. So we can't deflate the packer until all of this pressure is on to zero. So if you remember our last frack, uh, before we did it, it was about, I don't know, one gallon every five minutes. Um, it was like 0.22 gallon per minute. And then when we were finished with it, uh, the other driller did a pump test and it actually increased the gallon per minute to 3.55 gallons per minute. So that was a 16 times increase. So I'm not sure what this one will do, but because it's not our well, granted we drilled it, but another company 
is a well drilling company and they hired us to drill the hole for them so they're responsible for the pump they're responsible for the hookup all the paperwork everything uh, we actually drill for three different companies and we're the only one with a drill so we are extremely overloaded when it comes to that point but uh we're gonna wait a little bit here and then uh pull this thing out okay so the system's done bleeding back go ahead and reach in here crack the valve that's going to allow the oil to flow back out the packer and fill up the tank now we wait all right so we get some flow back that's pretty considerable i like that all right so we're still waiting for the packer to deflate and i'm going to make a guesstimate on what I think it's gonna make that way it's in the record and then uh, once the driller comes here puts the pump in does a pump test he'll tell me what the uh, the flow rate is and then I'll compare it to what I'm uh, assuming that it is so let's see so we got a stream there if you were putting that in a five gallon bucket it would probably fill it up about two-thirds of the way in a minute if we come over here and we look at our water flow it's somewhere between two to three gallons a minute so I'm gonna say it makes two and a half that's gonna be my guesstimation I'm not sure what it really makes naturally but right now the valves are shut off in the truck that's what it's pushing back out of the well so in theory that's what's pushing through the veins to flow out of the top of the hole so, only time will tell. Well, we got it all reeled up. Packers all pulled out and laid down. Time to get on out of here. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. It's the end of the year. This is going to be the last job for 2022. On to, new, on to the new year. Look forward to seeing everybody again. Hope you enjoy my content. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're curious about anything and everything well related check out my channel I've got almost a hundred videos covering multiple different well topics so if you want to learn something new check it out see y'all later